Coming back at you with number two. That's right. My name is Arthur Cuff Tom, and on behalf of Nerd Initiative, let's talk another comic book. That's right. Now, we're talking about Defenders of the Earth issue number two from Nad Cave Studios. If you haven't seen my review about issue number one, you are missing out. Let me tell you, this is not your daddy's or my cartoon show. I, by the time I've gotten to issue two, the theme song is completely out of my head. This is very much a huge departure and change as far as story is going. Now, that story is written by Dan Dido. We know him for years, all kinds of stuff. The artist is Jay Calafiore. Uh, Guancho is the colorist. And Carlos M. Mengual is the letterer. This book is taking the hard turn from what we know of Defenders of the Earth, and it is such an interesting and refreshing take. Um, refreshing as far as, oh, it's not Villain of the Week. This is, stuff has gone down over years, and these are now the consequences of actions that have been taken in the past, obviously after the show, between the comic, which you can check out. There is an issue zero um, that is hidden in issue one on a QR code, and you have to go and scan it and read it. I believe I've talked about this before, but trust me, this is going to be such a great book. There are twists like nobody's business. It's such a great, it really is just a great take to see how time has now caught up with, you know, Flash and the Phantom and Mandrake and Lothor and even the kids they're all grown up too now so we have to deal with them being adults in this world with everything that else is going on including Flash's stepbrother or half-brother for Mongo. Issue 2 so many things have been covered and I can't wait to see where this goes. I'm not sure if this book is on a limited run or if this is going to be an ongoing. But already with what they've done in the first two and a half issues has me hooked. Like when I saw this was up for a review, I was like, gimme, 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 gimme. So having that said, Defenders of the Earth, because the story's going so well, because the art is so good, because of... Everything else that's going on with it. Easy, simple, not a problem to say this one. 8.5 out of 10. Make sure you come back here to Nerd Initiative for all your comic book reviews. And I'll catch you in the next one.